uh, very good morning, uh, Professor Kasai Chana Wong, Chairman of uh, ADPC Foundation, distinguished uh, uh, guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Thai Chamber of Commerce and Board of Trade of Thailand, I would like to express my most sincere thanks to the ADPC Foundation uh, uh, ASEAN Disaster Prepared, Preparedness Center for inviting me to speak in this conference. The world of risk reduction is what our business people really uh, very uh, interesting. I would like to take this uh, to extend my most sincere sympathy to the people of Japan and Ecuador for the great loss of life and casualties suffered by re recent earthquake disasters. As one of the stakeholders in the business most affected by disaster, natural or otherwise, we are most appreciative to share with you how the private sector can promote and participate in the risk and reduction and risk mitigation management. Asia is the most risk prone disaster in the world. During the past 10 or 15 years, a number of disasters of make up proportion stuck right into the heart of the Asia and around the, around the Indo-Pacific ring of fire. We are aware of those natural disaster events that climax into a triple tsunami disaster, such as in Japan in 2011, the mega flooding of the central part of Thailand in the same years. The years 2004 tsunami that stuck the Indian Ocean, Ocean Rim countries, the earthquakes in Christchurch and Nepal that rocked the Everett, and many other cyclones that hit the Philippines, Vietnam, and Myanmar. For Thailand, we are no stranger to this disaster. We experienced in an ocean, an Indian Ocean tsunami in 2004. A mega flooding in the year 2011 that destroy, destroy and annihilate our industrial park, automobiles industry, and hard disk drive and semiconductor global value chain all at once. Not continuing a poss possible global climate change that may have brought about several droughts and so little water for our agriculture, farmers' livelihood and Songkran festival. It is with this natural and man-made disaster in mind that I wish to share with you, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, during this time of challenges, business resilience and adaptation to new disaster risks are well known. In the business view, companies large and small have to manage risk all the time. There are accidental risks that motivate transport, uh, that involve transportation, machinery, operation, and interruption of supply chain. When I say transportation, sometimes we have to import one very important machinery from abroad and transport to one of our location uh, in the factory. That's only one that need to make the op uh, factory operate. We have the experience that we are very careful of taking from the port to the, to the site in the upcountry 
by using the uh, escort, uh, auto, uh, os escort police. But the pace of the escort and the pace of the truck are different one. So at the end, it's accident. So it takes us a few more months before we can correct the, uh, 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 the operation. And another case is that we have, uh, we have to be very careful on the uh, operation that we have only one unit that make the, the sugar uh, mill running, for instance, the boiler. So in our case, we prefer to have two units. At least maybe one broke down, the other one still running at half or even more than half capacity to, to not to fully interrupt our operations. These business risks are very much like other disasters and in general, it, for us it's very more important that our uh, interrupted operation. The uh, consequential concept order that we would like to present is that number one is an early warning system, risk reduction management, and post-disaster management. Early warning system, since 2004 tsunami, Thailand has set up the Natural Disaster Warning Center, or NDWC. It has played a key critical role in changing the mindset and the behavior of the community, as well as to combine the effort of the localized communities among the local governments, the local private sectors, and the local communities. The Thai Chamber of Commerce has 76 provinces networks in each province that can cooperate and participate in the risk uh, mitigation exercise and early warning system. This network also reached the most of SME nationwide. Although the leading role remained with the government, we could work together across the nation to reduce risk assessment plans, set the tone for the future cooperation. Of course, on the regional and international network, the national network can work together through the ASEAN Disaster uh, Preparedness Center for ADPC, which was established in 1986, tailor-made training program implemented on a regional-wide basis can be explored or executed, especially for SME. Regional and international standard and practices can be shared and, and imparted to organize workshop for both large and small and medium-sized company to achieve their goal. For the risk reduction management, we, the, the UNS, UNISDR data reveal that when a, a disaster stuck, the private sectors pay more for the disaster losses. For the recent 2011, uh, 2011 Thailand make up flooding, 90% of losses were paid by manufacturer. SME, farmer, and insurance companies, the government paid only 10%. This is why the SCG or Siam Cement Group launched its business con continuity uh, management or what we call BCM to, uh, to develop business continuity plan or BCP to mitigate any possible, possible risk. Even before the, the year 2011 flood and during the long year of the political struggle and turbulence time, both were in Bangkok and in the provinces. The SCG set up its corporate BCM office at the center to continuously monitor 
and accessories at the most middle point sugar our sugar company operation has also launched risk and crisis management since uh, the year 2011 for safety reason Metapon employs several losses prevention system by monitoring plants operation yeah, incidents such as fire hazard and flooding by continuously accessing insurance and auditing Metapon has managed to reduce premium on its insurance fee up to 30 or 40 percent. For the business continuity, we use the business continuity plan by having more suppliers instead of a few. This helps preventing disruption of supply in case of disaster emergency. By, by locating plans operation in various locations, help mitigate, mitigate risk in case of occurrence of natural disaster by sharing, consolidating spare part in, will ensure spare part continuity in case machinery, machinery breakdown. We also focus on preventing farming risk to ensure sugar cane supply in order to mitigate the weather related to the disaster, such as droughts, which is actually very severe uh, happening this year. We have drilled many deep well water uh, for the, our uh, supply chain, our sugar cane growers, which share the water among the, the one that on the highland and on the lowland to at least uh, when it was very, very dry, we can share some water usage. Uh, we, uh, among our farmer, farmer networks, uh, uh, we have about 30,000 households. The irrigation program benefit the farmer with respect to their water management technique. To addition, this Pond Research and Development Center developed and research on a variety of sugarcane that grow well with different climate and geographical condition. We develop a, a weather forecasting system and combine with farm management. Our plants operation conserve the use of water, uh, recycle, recycle and reuse to minimize water consumption. The, the Thai Chamber of Commerce network could make SME program possible. For the Thai Chamber, we are also active on various SME program. The tailor-made training program should provide for hand-on risk assessment and business continuity plan. The SME insurance premium for natural disaster that SME could be reached for example, Thai Vivat Insurance launched agriculture crops insurance program last year after drought hit Thailand. Finally, the, the post-disaster management must be put in place. Typically, most of the time, the responsibility falls in the hands of the government. But in case of Thailand, Toshiba Thailand in 2011, central plain flooding. The private sector has vital role to play. The Toshiba Thailand plants were flooded with 10 of the units under two, two meters of water for 45 days. By sharing hardship, Kun Kopkan Watanawarangun the former president of the Toshiba Thailand and currently minister of tourism employ good relation and cooperation with the local, local community and plan the post disaster management with them. The diet project of five meter high and 4.5 kilometers surrounding the industrial park were built together with the 
the pumping station was complete within a year. The infrastructure is expected to safeguard the plants and boost up their confidence. For the SME post-disaster, the soft loan is need needed to restore business, government, financial institution, or large private sector may provide rehabilitated funding or program in order to recover SME business as much as job creation by employ locally. In conclusion, it is of at most important that both the public and private sector join hands and work together in implementing these three pillars as if as it is very difficult to second guess the, the mother nature. As Robert Scott, a CEO of Morgan Stanley once said, if you wait for a crisis to begin to lead, it's too late. So we had better be prepared uh, together. Thank you very much.